my god. What a mess. Look at this. This damn thing's been going the whole time we've been gone. The ignition's not on. I don't know, maybe the key switch was just slightly off. But I turned it back and forth and now the hour meter stopped. Interesting. We are ready to bring the boat one more leg up to New York. We're currently still in Solomons, Maryland. And the problem of the day is we cannot get our refrigerator to start. <laughs> I have gone vision shopping. I have got some sausages and chicken and milk and just a few essentials, including some sweet stuff. Um, but the biggest exciting thing is we got ourselves a new puppy! Yay! Let's meet him. This is Pirate, the boat dog. His formal name is the Dread Pirate Roberts, named for his dark color and his pirate-like attitude. But secretly, he's just a dog in love with people like Pirate Roberts, aka Wesley. I will not be sailing on this journey because I have to work. So Duke will be solo sailing. Hopefully he can get the fridge to work. And Pirate will be coming home with me for this trip. We just wanted to get him to see if he liked the boat and if he could sleep on the boat and get on and off. And he can do that pretty good. But it's still a pretty big mess. It's super hot. It's like 80 degrees here. So hopefully we will be able to get the boat to Cape May. And then I will pick Duke up. And Pirate will be so happy to see his daddy again. Okay, over and out. The boat was quite dirty and covered in mm, stuff. And we have a boat dog looking around, checking stuff out, seeing what's up. And we have a guy who can't quite figure out the steps to get things going. He's got to undo this rope and untie a rope from there. And then he can get to the boom. How you doing, Captain? Oh, you know. Yep. All right. About to take off. Huh? Boat's peeing. Well. The engine started. That's a good sign. Well. Here I am, all alone, about to embark on my first solo sail. Got the boat reasonably cleaned up, got the motor running, and we've got no wind. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to try to get as far north today as possible. Even though I'm getting a super late start, it's already about noon. Oh well. Last time I got on this boat, I got a little bit of motion sickness. Um, so. Off-brand Dramamine. Just in case.
along Spring Cove Marina. Some real nice cats in here. channels on the Potunxet River. Um, I'll be heading east and then once I get to the Chesapeake obviously I'll be heading north. A lot of traffic here. A lot of small power boats, a couple sailboats and uh, currently I've got the wind right on my nose so I think I'm just gonna motor until I get out into the uh, into the bay and then we'll see about raising some sails. motoring but we've got both sails out all right we are in neutral Basically heading almost due east. Ultimately, we want to go north. And don't forget, this is five hours off. <laughs> 1.45 in the afternoon. And can't see anything. <laughs> So I turned north up the bay a bit, trimmed the sails slightly, and I'm sure there's more trimming to be done, but we're doing five knots, and uh, breeze is coming in off the starboard side. Doing pretty good. Um, I'm sure we can go faster if I just knew how to trim sails, but we'll figure it out. This thing, I'm not even sure if it works. Might be doing all hand steering, I don't know. I'm the owner's manual.
good thing about this autopilot so far is not that it's working, but so far it's not. But, at least with the belt and this little tension lever, I can lock the steering. I don't have to hand steer as much. I tell these guys are fishing, but they've got some sort of orange things in the water, flags, little tiny flags. No idea what that is. Still only doing about five knots on their sail. Wind's moving around. It's always on the uh, starboard side, but sometimes it's aft, sometimes it's forward. So I keep adjusting the sails a little bit, but it doesn't seem to no matter what I do, I'm always doing four to six. 2 p.m. roughly. But we're sailing up the, uh, the western shore of the Chesapeake. And we are just going as far north as we can without hitting anything. My understanding that when you run your boat into stuff, seriously, bad things can happen. We don't want that. The boat's still a freaking mess. Um, we were docked underneath a tree. I guess technically warped, warped under a tree. I don't know. We are crossing some power boat's path. He's gonna have to go around us though because we are under sail. We're fine. I steered off pretty heavily and he seems to not care. He did not give way, so I had to because, well, them's the brakes, kids. Even if they don't follow the rules of the road, you have to take evasive action to avoid a collision. You probably didn't see me on that big old radar spinning around on his roof. Jackass. pretty much stopped most forward progress. We're moving along at about two knots. I uh, curled up the guinea. Um, it was just flapping around. The uh, mainsail still seems to be catching a little bit of wind, but uh, not a whole lot. For all I know, we're, we're making two knots because we're drifting with the current. <laughs> um, I might have to consider just firing up the motor if I want to make any progress today. We're heading up the Chesapeake Bay, slowly, <laughs> and uh, there appears to be some sort of oil platform or something up there, which is kind of cool. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing that up close. They'd be out here, even with no wind. So, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we could sail up against the side stage, that's probably not a good thing. Um, but. I, uh, whoa, we just got it, because we turned. Look at that. Oops. I need to do that. I guess that's my first accidental jibe. Woo-hoo! By the way, I don't claim to be an expert in trimming sails. Uh, quite the opposite. For all I know, exactly what I'm doing right now is wrong, wrong, wrong. Um, just kind of figuring it out as I go. Hooray for never taking a sailing lesson. I tried repeatedly to go out wing on wing. It just won't, it won't sail like that. There's just not enough wind to make it happen. So I'm off to the side here. I'm back to doing about four knots uh, with five knots of wind, which is not bad. We're not really that close to that oil platform or whatever that is. Pretty cool. Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Um, really don't have any wind. So I'm moving along at like two knots. Decided to fire up the engine, motor sail a bit, 
and the starter is basically just clicking. So there's enough juice to click the solenoid. It appears there's not enough juice to actually spin the starter. Unless there's something else going on, but uh, that's what it looks like right now. Uh, lucky thing is, uh, the weather's nice. I'm kind of drifting along here at two knots. At least I'm heading in the right direction. And now I'm wondering, do I basically wait and hope that the solar charges the batteries enough for me to get this thing started? Or is there actually something wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I have to figure this out in the next couple of hours. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make a lot of progress because I don't have much wind. And I don't have a motor. And I have some block in my eye. Well, engine's running. Um, I thought it was weird because uh, it wasn't even clicking the solenoid. It was my imagination. Um, so I took apart the key switch. Almost lost it into the dash. Almost had to take the whole panel off, but luckily I was able to grab it. Uh, it nothing really looked wrong with it, but I just kind of remade the connections on the wires. And... Uh, Put the motor back down where it belongs and she started right up. So I think we'll be motor sailing for a while. And that's okay by me. Because right now we're doing three knots under just the main. And uh, I'm not gonna get anywhere doing three knots. Let's make some progress. So, we're motor sailing. It's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm not pushing the motor too hard. So we're doing five knots uh, under sail and under motor. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's beautiful out here. Hey, hey, look, I fixed something. 4.17 p.m. I changed the time zone to Eastern. Yeah. Genius. Genius! <laughs> the tip on the left there is the one that passed us earlier on the port side. And the one off to the right looks like it's coming in. So this will be interesting to see how we avoid that one. <laughs> We're crossing the channel. They are crossing each other up there. I have a feeling that the second ship is probably going to pass right in front of me and I won't have to do anything. But if it does not, I think my choice is to veer around behind it. steering like this in the doorway uh, when the sun's kind of getting ready to set because it's still pretty strong and it's trying to burn me uh, but if I do this I can steer with my arm out the door I can see what's going on up ahead works pretty good somewhere over there is Plum Point Maryland well about an hour away from the anchorage and uh, I'm quite happy to report that even though we didn't have much wind today and we had to do a lot of motor sailing 
did get to start off with both the mainsail and the Genoa up for a little while. We were making good time while the wind lasted, so that was cool. I did take one anti-nausea pill. It's the uh, off-brand of Dramamine, I guess. About a half hour before I took off, and I'm not sure I needed it. I felt great this entire trip. Uh, as opposed to when Virginia and I first took the boat and moved it a bit north. We were both puking over the side of the boat. I don't know, you win some, you lose some. But uh, it's been a good day. I'm about an hour away, as I said. The sun's gonna set a little after eight o'clock. It's uh, 6.30 p.m. now. So I should be dropping anchor just before sunset or, or right around there anyway. So that's cool. Hope I find a nice place to uh, drop the hook. Off in the distance there, there's a point of land. I believe that's the point I'm going around to get into Herring Bay. Now it's kind of racing the sun. I'm getting pretty close to my anchorage. It's really just up around this point here, and I can see in the individual trees and houses, so it's not too far away. I took the opportunity, since there was zero wind anymore, to uh, pull down the mainsail while I was up here, and I prepared the anchor, put the bridle system out, and uh, attached it to the end of the chain. So that'll be ready once I get to the anchorage. Hopefully. Anyway, we're almost there. I'm almost there. All by myself. I believe off in the distance here is Chesapeake Beach. It looks to be a resort town. I see a bunch of hotels. Looks like a lot of condo complexes there right on the water. And I can even see or it won't show up on video. There's a carnival going on here. With a Ferris wheel and some big swinging ride of death. Looks pretty cool. There's only one other boat here in this bay. Sailboat anyway. I don't think anybody's anchoring here for the night. Except me. Yeah. So besides seagulls and things flying around, I've got falcons. And unfortunately, I missed one that tried to land on the mast, which was cool. I don't know why he tried to land on the mast. I see another sailboat anchored here, so I think I'm going to declare that also my anchorage. <laughs> Pretty cool.
boat so I can point into the wind and hopefully I'll be able to set my anchor. There's not much wind, mind you, but it's a bit. It's about uh, 10 feet of water here. So we've got the bridle system set up here. Uh, it prevents a lot of the sway that you might get with a catamaran if you would just go with the anchor road. Each end of the bridle is clipped to an extra shackle on the end of the chain. It helps keep us positioned, which is cool. This is where we are. This is Herring Bay. Somewhere here is Fairhaven, Maryland. the Fairhaven Cliffs, and hopefully we stay even with those cliffs and the swim platform there on just off the beach, we're all set. Got lightning up in the sky there. Was that heat lightning? Very cool. It's quite warm right now. So I just noticed a problem. No, it's not all this mess. This cracked. It's just PVC. This is one of the posts that supports the bimini. Uh, but this is also the one that has all of the wires running into it from the solar panels. So I might need to do something to prevent this from squishing those wires, first off, and uh, also temporarily secure it. Trust me, that sucks. I have a feeling this cracked during a, a hard jibe, perhaps, because this sheet tends to kind of wrap around that post a little bit. Just a hair, but probably enough to crack that. That's going to be a fun thing to fix eventually. And even more fun to temporarily fix. Okay, part one of my temporary fix. I just grabbed an extra stainless steel bolt and kind of position it there in the gap. Why? Because it looks like it already pinched the wires and I don't want this jaw to come down and chop my wires. So this will keep it separated. Yes, I know my bimini top will now be a little bit crooked. I don't care. I think part two is going to be wrapping a whole bunch of rope around this somehow to keep it in position. Possibly leveraging this as well. We'll see. Um, it's all tied up. The whole idea here is it's basically holding this post back and in. It's not super tight, but it's holding it somewhat in position. And then I'm going to put another piece of rope Maybe with something to hold back against between these two, wrapped around up here. Um, I don't know, it's not great, but it's something. But anyway, uh, I don't have anything sturdy, solid, so I ended up folding up a towel, jammed it in that gap there, and instead of trying to tie a rope, uh, I went with a rubber bungee um, for now. I, I may do something more solid later, but at the moment I need to be concerned about what's going to happen with this blow. That bright light is at the beach where our swim platform is, and we are holding steady with it, so I think we have a good anchor. There's that light. Well, this is on the other side of the boat. Got a squall blowing through here and uh, turn me around. Quick! But I think I'm still in position. No 
this doesn't uh, blow too hard or last too long. It's blowing. It's blowing good. There's my light. I kind of wonder if maybe I should drop the motor down just to have it ready in case I do break free and I need to keep myself away from the shore. I don't know. I think I'm going to do that just in case. on every direction now, so far. Um, according to the weather, it should be over within an hour, so hopefully, a little nerve wracking. Well, uh, judging by my landmarks, I've drifted quite a bit actually. Uh, I dragged my anchor. Um, I'm actually parallel with this channel, with this red channel marker. Uh, where I was not before. Um, it looks like it's finally calming down a bit. So uh, I dropped my en engine in case I need to uh, try and start it and motor the hell out of danger. But uh, for the moment, I think I'm just gonna hang out, see if this blows over. Um, maybe I can reset it when it gets a little more calm. So there's a light there, it's a house. Big house. It's, uh, the last 20 minutes I've been keeping pretty even with. The cliffs are just a little bit over to the right there, as is the beach light. But I drifted quite a bit south. I don't think I'm in any danger of running into land just yet. Uh, but this red channel marker, I was quite a bit north of that. And now I'm south of it. But it looks like the worst of it is past me now. Heading south. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the anchor got pulled loose. Um, these waves are tossing me around a lot. And uh, I imagine they were yanking on the anchor chain pretty good. Um, so, I probably dragged I'm thinking about a quarter mile. I don't appear to be in any danger of hitting anything, which is good. I'm glad the other sailboat I saw earlier got his ass out of here because I'm pretty much now right where he was. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to make sure that the anchor has officially reset itself. And hopefully, this mess is over. got some odd depth here. <laughs> 12 feet and then sometimes it looks like 4 feet. Hmm. Not like that. But you can see I'm just southwest of that channel marker. And if you look at the black line, up where those uh, 11 foot depths are, that's where I anchored. Uh, so I drifted quite a bit. Hey, thanks guys. This is to celebrate my survival of the storm. If you like what we're doing and you'd like to follow along on our adventures, sailing and otherwise, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks.